You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. All right. Well, I am Grant from Screen Rant. I am so excited to chat with you both for this show. Uh, I am absolutely in love with it from the four episodes I've seen thus far. Uh, you've done a phenomenal job of translating this game into the screen. Uh, now, uh, I'd love to turn to Geneva first and then Graham for this first question. Uh, Jonah has talked about how Fallout 3 was really his big love and passion for these games. Did you two have a similar experience uh, with the source material or was there a different game that maybe you sort of jumped on board with? Well, we each have very, you know, different experiences of coming with it. Uh, Graham had come to the games back in 97 uh, with Fallout 1, but I had seen my husband play the games. And then when I was approached about, uh, you know, J Jonah in 2019 and his company Kilter, let me know that they were in the process of getting the rights. I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta play these games myself. So my focus was on three, four and uh, new Vegas. I want, I want to be careful because Graham is going to get mad at me to say that doesn't mean they were my, you know, the, the preference within the fallout canon, like that. The, I think those are the best games. Uh, they just are the ones that I mainly played. Uh, Cause uh, Graham. Well, my, my thing is express no preference uh, because uh, I, I love watching the internet guess it and fight each other over, Oh, it's Fallout. It, it it replicates factionalism as portrayed in the games so perfectly uh, that there's even like a cabal of people who are like, no more fighting. Uh, that that's like the NCR of the of the fan base. Uh, it's I I love it, and I also I just don't want to put our thumb on the scale. But at the same time, yeah, I, yeah, I started playing in in '97. I was my first year of uh, college, uh, so I was living in four guys, and we'd all played like we're all big. Um, arena fans and and daggerfall fans at that point and uh yeah it was described to us as like it's the guys from arena but they made like an XCOM game uh which is not a accurate really way to play describe it but it got us interested for sure uh and i think no one that lived in that house that year graduated from the university of alberta so um we were we were in we were in from the start um yeah well, that's the great thing about the games is that, I mean, they the way the formula has evolved, they could any of them could be for anybody. And so I, I, I'm in agreement yeah. with you both that there there doesn't need to be a preference. It's all about your own taste. Yeah, uh, I was going to guess that Fallout 4 was your favorite just because it's right behind you. <laughs> it's the only one I own physically. I own a few of the others digitally, right. So, right. but I had to show right. my love. But um, a lot of it's now, like it's like the cast of SNL conversation. It's like, well were you 12 or you know what I mean? Like, uh, like yeah. it's sort of like, when did, when did you find it? Where were you in your life? Were you happy? Uh, did, were your organs in better condition than they are now? Uh, <laughs> you know, like, are you, uh, and I think that's sort of it as like your first, which, which was your first is, is really the way to answer that question for people. But yeah, absolutely. And so when it came then to, to adapting this world, I know that uh, you two and Jonah really took an original approach while still setting it within this universe. But was there ever a talk, at least between you two, uh, about maybe including some original locations or characters from the games uh, in the show? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we talked about everything under the sun, uh, for sure. Um, I mean, it's Remember been three I started years working on this, by the way, during COVID. So there was a lot of time like, uh, to <laughs> yeah. talk about five million ideas. We've been working on this yeah. since 2019. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, we, we, uh, we, we feel like we've nodded homage the fuck out of this thing uh, without, uh, you know, hunkering down and setting something in something that's uh, in canonical situations. Cause that gets dicey and it, you, right, we feel like we're kind of dancing between the raindrops in terms of not acknowledging any canonical endings. Uh, and you know, you'll let us know how we did on that front. Um, but yeah, we, we, uh, we had the time so um hopefully we we didn't fuck it up <laughs> but i don't think you did and the time really shows well uh it is crazy how much you were able to nod and and dance around it like you said uh for my final question before i let you both go uh i mean i would love to see a season two of this show and i'm curious are you going if that happens would you two take a similar approach to the games and go anthological or do you think you would continue with some of the characters from this season. I think to I mean, me, yeah, go ahead, Grant. 
No, no, you you go ahead. This is a spicy one. <laughs> this is a spicy one. It's a bit of a minefield. I think that to me, the most important thing would be that we do a new location because I I just love that each game uh like you know introduces you to a new world and you encounter different factions as part of being you know going to a new place. Um, but uh, you know, we 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 are very attached to our characters. So um, you know, it's yeah. You, know, you could say that throughout the games, there is there is a commonality in the character, and it's you, the player. That sucks. That 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 answer is so lame. <laughs> In text, that'll seem so earnest. Um, I apologize. Um, no, no but it's true. There is some continuity there. It's it's the player. The main thing we'll say about a potential season two is we pray we get one because there's so much that we didn't get to do in this season. Like yeah. that, the hardest thing about adapting a brilliant game like Fallout, where there's 25 years of great ideas to pull from, is just you yeah. know. How do you pick what you're going to put in eight hours when there's thousands of hours of gameplay? Um, at first, it's thrilling, and then you're just kind of upset about all the things that you're not able to put in. Uh, so there's we're praying for a second season. Well, I'm praying with you because uh, with what you two have done on this season, it shows that this is in good hands. And so I would love to see you both continue, regardless of if it's more season one characters or new characters. So thank you both so much for taking the time. I can't wait to thank spread you. the word and get you that second season. Oh, oh God, you. we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a good one.